Well, welcome to Hockey Fights Cancer Night here at Nationwide Arena as the Blue Jackets and the Toronto Maple Leafs get together for the first time this year. Well, there's always something that excites players about going up against the Toronto Maple Leafs, especially players that grew up watching the Leafs. And the Blue Jackets have a couple of those. One is Derek McKenzie, who grew up in Sudbury, Ontario. And he says it's special to play this team tonight. You know, growing up where I did, I mean, it's uh, you're a Montreal fan or you're a Toronto fan. And, uh, Montreal got the best of us the other night, so took a bit of a ribbing for that. And uh, you know, hopefully tonight we can come up with two points against a team that uh, you know I've watched my whole life. Jody, what is it for a player when you're going up against a team that you grew up watching? Even though the players are different, the team is still the same. What gets you going for that? Well, it's childhood dreams. I mean, these guys are playing tonight against the Toronto Maple Leafs, which is another team in the league. But for some, as you heard from Derek McKenzie. It's special. He's got relatives who are Leafs fans or Canadians fans, whatever it is. But tonight, he gets a chance to take it to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, the Toronto Maple Leafs are a team that has been playing very good as of late. They're 7-3 and three coming into this game tonight. They're coming off a big 4-2 to two win over the Anaheim Ducks. And Boone Jenner is a young guy still getting his feet underneath him here in the NHL. He knows tonight's game is going to be a battle. Obviously, they've got off to a good start. They have, uh, you know, a couple really solid lines, good power play units, and, uh, you know, they're... They're a good offensive team for sure, and uh, you know they've been playing really well. So we just got to stick to our game and um, you know check them good and and uh, stick to our game plan. Jody, could there be a bigger contrast in opponents than the New Jersey Devils, who were here on Tuesday night, a defense first, packing in type of a style, and the Toronto Maple Leafs here on Friday, who like to open it wide up and go? No, there's not. And and the other thing about Toronto Maple Leafs, they like to be physical. So not only play offensive style, opposite of the New Jersey Devils, but they like to play physical. So it should be a fun matchup here tonight. And they're going to have another guy in their lineup that can play physical. David Clarkson got suspended during the preseason for 10 games. He hasn't been able to play. He will play here tonight. What does having him back in the lineup do for this team? Well, this is a guy that was a top free agent signing in the summer. He's from the Toronto area. It was a dream come true to be able to put on the uniform, and now he's had to wait an extra four weeks to do it. So this date has been circled for David Clarkson, and it'll be exciting, a lot of excitement on that side in the building, but the Blue Jackets know the test, and it'll be fun to spoil that party too. Now, you would think with Clarkson coming back, they'd be happy. They have their lineup intact. Not the case. Joffrey Lupo got hurt in practice yesterday. He did not take the morning skate today, but they will have Phil Kessel in the lineup. He's coming off a hat trick against Anaheim. Well, he's, a, he's just a pure skilled guy. He knows how to score goals, obviously coming off a hat trick. He's a guy that they rely on. They're not sure what they get every night from Phil Kessel, but when he's in the lineup, he's an offensive threat. Jonathan Bernier was acquired from the Los Angeles Kings in a trade over the summer to shore up the goaltending situation. It looks as though he's going to go tonight. What does this add to their team? Well, it adds stability. I mean, Reimer has played well. He played well last year in the, in the playoffs, but this guy brings accountability in the sense he's a thoroughbred he's a guy who's proven himself working his way up in the minors he's always had the skill set so they got him in Toronto to do that and he's done it and there's a lot of talk in that room about how good he really is all right that'll do it for tonight's Time Warner Rink Report for Jody Shelley I'm Bob McElligot enjoy the game